What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get power cord on your PC, your Mac, or your Linux. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing it on a Windows computer. It should be uh, very similar on other operating systems. So what you guys want to do first is go to the power cord uh, website, which I'll link down below in the description of the video. And once you guys are on this web page, just like this, um, there's gonna be three little links that you guys will need to go to. So this one right here, we can just open that in a new tab. Same with the second one. And then the third tab right here, you're gonna download whichever operating system you're doing this on. So I am on Windows right now, so I'm gonna be doing it on that. So we'll click on that. So if you're on an other operating system, such as like Mac or Linux, you guys will obviously click on those ones, but I have a Windows right now, so I'm gonna click on this right now. So we're gonna download this to our computer. It is completely safe. I'm gonna show you guys the entire process. So if you wanna watch the entire video first to see how this works and how I install it, you guys can go ahead and do that, or you guys can follow along throughout the video. So once you guys have installed the Discord uh, Canary setup.exe, we're good to go. So what we're going to do next is launch the program right here. So just double click on it right here and it should pop up. Basically, it's going to open up your Discord and you will or it may ask you to log in to your Discord account once again right here. So um, I'm going to do that real quick for you guys. So once you guys are logged into your Discord, we can minimize this. And now we're going to be going to the Get page right here, which was the first link under the Power Cord page right here. So um, you're going to click on same thing, whichever operating system you have. So I have Windows. I'm going to click on that. It's going to download. Click on Keep. And then the second thing we want to download is you're going to go to this website, which should have been the second uh, link right here and we can click on where it says 16.4.2 and then click on keep. So now we're gonna be clicking on the get page right here. So the .exe file that we installed and we're gonna run through the setup. So it's gonna pop up right here. Click on next, 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 next again, next one more time and again. So once it is finished, we can uncheck this so we don't have to view the release notes. Click on finish and now we're gonna run through the node one that we just installed right here from this page. So we're gonna click on it and run through the setup. Agree to the terms and services. So once it is finished, so click on finish. Now we can minimize this so we're done installing everything. So now what we wanna do is go to our desktop right here. You wanna right click on the screen, show more options, and then you wanna click on where it says get bash here so click on this one not the git gui here it's the git bash one so the second option and it should look exactly like this so um what you want to do now is go back into the uh, power cord website right here so we're going to be doing the installation now we're going to be actually installing the power cord so you guys want to follow the uh commands right here so list from one to four so we got to run all this first so i'm going to copy this first right here and then we're going to open up that get bash right here. So we're going to paste that in, click on the enter button. So once you have done that, same thing, go to the second one, copy that command, paste it back in here. Once that one is finished, now we can go to the last one right here. And it does give you another note. If you're on Linux users, you'll need to run this command with the sudo. So now we're going to copy this last one in right here, return. And if you don't see anything, just give it a couple of seconds and you should see right here, power cord has been successfully plugged. So now once you guys have done that, we are fully good to go. We can now X out our Chrome page or whichever um, browser you're using. And we want to actually close the power cord right here if you have it opened up. So um, you guys see right there, the Discord canary. We want to quit that. And now we can relaunch it right here. Just click on the icon that's been created on your homepage right here. And now we are fully good to go. So it's going to load up the Discord. So you guys should get the pop-up message on what's new right here. We can X that out. Go into the user setting. And you guys should see a new tab under your using settings called Power Cord. So you guys can get some plugins, themes, all that stuff. So um, there you guys have it. That's how you guys get the Power Cord on your computer for free. So like I said, this works on any operating system, Mac, Windows, Linux as well. So if you have any comments or questions, leave it down below in the comments section. So let me know down below in the comments section. I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you guys believe that Power Cord is better than better Discord? Because I know a lot of people use better Discord um, over Power Cord. So let me know down below in the comments section. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.